Hi guys, welcome back. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Cindy and today I have a very exciting announcement to share with you guys. So drum roll please. I am pregnant. I'm a mom. I know. Okay, so and I am currently five weeks pregnant and I just wanted to tell you guys um, my zero to four weeks pregnancy symptoms and signs and just an update on how that how that's going. I might even show you guys a video of me um, finding out that I was pregnant as well as my husband's reaction. So I'll just start off with when I um, had my period last. So I had my period on Halloween, October 31st, and usually my periods are regular, so um, I didn't think, you know, anything of it, but I was on birth control for the past year, and um, I was off of it just because it was a personal decision that my husband and I have made together, mostly from a biblical standpoint. We just felt like we didn't want to, you know, interfere with God's timing, and we felt like, you know, we wanted to go forth and multiply. So that was um, our ideology behind um, getting off of birth control, because I was on it when we got married um, in November, and then I was off around, like, August. And then three months of, like, just my hormones and everything going back to normal, I was finally able to have my period. Then once I got my period, um, I knew that I was going to be regular, because I've always had regular periods, and it was always, like, on time, you know? About a week and a half after my period, so after seven days, and then, like, couple days after that, um, I started feeling a little bit different. So I didn't know if this was because now that I'm off of birth control, it's just my body going back to normal. My dog is going crazy. I decided to take a pregnancy test after my period, and I heard that you can take it as early as seven days past ovulation, um, but I took it around like five days, and I just had a feeling like, you know, I've been feeling different, I've been having really bad headaches, I was really tired, and I just didn't understand, like, why? Because, I mean, I already have, like, really bad headaches and sometimes migraines, um, but it was just, it was, like, different. It was a different headache. It's, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, you just had to be here, okay? And then not only did I have the headaches, I was just really crampy, um, and that was just... I didn't think anything of it about the crampiness, but I was cramping a little bit. And so I took the test around five days past ovulation, and it was negative. I was really bummed about that, but I knew, like, it had to be inaccurate anyways because I took it so early because the anticipation was killing me. So I was like, maybe I'll take it tomorrow. So I took it six days past ovulation, um, which is around, like, I think that was November 19th, and it still came out negative, so I was just like, maybe I'll just wait to get a more accurate reading. I just, I was so, so anxious to find out whether I was pregnant or not, um, because I had a feeling, I just had that instinct that I was pregnant. And then on November 24th, which is the day after Thanksgiving, I decided to take a test around like six o'clock in the morning, just because I was having trouble sleeping or staying asleep, and so, I took the test and what did you know your girl was pregnant I knew it I knew it and I'll go ahead and show you guys um, a little clip please don't mind the you know bedhead no makeup like ugly crying okay this was early in the morning
Mm, mm -mm. So after I took the test, I was so excited to tell my husband. And I really wanted to tell him in a cute way. But, you know, my husband and I were just not good at surprises. So I woke him up. At first, his initial reaction was, you're reading it wrong. It says you're not pregnant. And then his second reaction was, I'm still suspicious because he thought I was messing with him. And then I started crying and I'm like, no, I'm pregnant. And I'll show you guys a clip of that too. Let's see. Yeah, babe. It doesn't seem pregnant. There's, there's a big blue line. There's a line right there. No, it's not saying that. Buzz, I just took the pills. Babe. I'm, not, I'm still a little suspicious because... I just took it right now. Does that really say that? Yes. No, it doesn't. Come right down. Let me look at it. Why are you crying? Lucy up here. Lucy. Here. Hey, we need to don't know that for sure. Okay, one test. Okay. I'm taking another one. Let's see. There's definitely a line. Oh my gosh. Am I really pregnant? It hasn't even been two minutes yet. It's like 20, 20 seconds. Oh my gosh, dude. There's a line right there. So I just had to take one of these clear blue ones because I wanted to, I wanted it to say pregnant just to confirm, you know, for the third time. But oh my gosh. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> yeah. This is real. This, it really was a blessing. Like, I wanted to be a mom forever. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm 22. But I've just, I've just always wanted to be a mom. I want to be a wife and I want to be a mom. That's what I wanted in life. And then after I told my husband, um, we, we both decided that maybe we should try to surprise our family um, about the pregnancy. But my husband... Like I said, we're not good at surprises. My husband went and told his brother, and I'm just like, bruh. So then I just took a picture of our pregnancy tests, and we sent it out to our immediate families first. That was, it was a trip, guys. It was a trip. The week of November 26th, so that was the week where I'm supposed to start my period again, um, I was just really, really tired. Um, like, I would go to bed around, like, 7, and... I woke up around like 4 30 because I just went to bed so early um and then slowly it was me like slowly I just like slept in more and more I was just so tired and um also on that week I was just really crampy so it felt like I was on my period um without the period okay and I noticed that I was extremely moody like just very irritable I just wasn't having it I was just I just wasn't having it that week yeah and also I just noticed that that my boobs and the nipples were really sensitive and I'm just like oh my gosh I had to wear um, like a soft bra like all the time because when I put on a shirt and I hit it I'm just like oh oh and another weird thing when I would sneeze or cough I would get like a sharp pain um, in that like pelvic area and I don't know if you guys experienced that if you were pregnant but I was like one day I just sneezed and I was like, oh, uh, you know, it was just so painful. And then on December 1st was when I went to my primary physician um, and she confirmed that I was pregnant through like the little urine test. And now I'm being referred to an OBGYN um, and I'm not going to see her or my new OBGYN doctor until 
I hit eight weeks, but I haven't had any nausea or anything like that. I've been eating normally. I haven't had any nausea hit me yet. So it's just, it's pretty normal right now. Just like cramping, like as if I am having my period without the ugly stuff. So it's so surreal. Everyone's been really supportive. And I mean, we're married. So, so having a kid isn't like the end of our worlds. My husband, he's almost 20. He's 27 now, so he's almost 28. He's almost 30 years old. So I think he's ready to have a baby. And I've always, I've just always wanted a baby. And now we have our little baby coming soon. Yeah, I'll try to keep you guys updated. Um, Like, I'll probably do like a, you know, this is the zero to four weeks. Maybe I'll do like a five to eight weeks or, you know, five to ten weeks or something like that. I'll just try to keep you guys updated. I'm going to write notes on like how I'm feeling and how my you know my body's reacting and stuff like that yeah i'm so glad to be sharing this with you guys and take you guys on my little journey to mommyhood so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you guys can get um notifications on when i upload and update you guys about my pregnancy so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye